Imagine a world where your deepest thoughts, your most private moments, are no longer just yours. A world where the boundary between human consciousness and artificial intelligence becomes dangerously thin. A world created by Neuralink. The tech billionaire is launching a new venture called Neuralink. Is this science fiction or is this reality? It is absolutely science fiction that has turned into real science. We're on the cusp of a complete paradigm shift. They promise a future of incredible human-computer symbiosis, but at what cost? With their recent funding of 43 million additional dollars and an approval to begin human trials, the need to understand the risks associated with this technology is more present than ever. Stay with me as I deep dive into Neuralink, discover how the groundbreaking technology is leading us down a path full of ethical dilemmas, security nightmares, and a future where our very essence could be compromised. Let's start with some context. Launched in 2016 by Elon Musk and a team of seven scientists and engineers, Neuralink claims its mission is to create a brain interface to help disabled people today, but unlock the human brain tomorrow. Essentially, they want to make a computer chip that can connect to your brain, and then you can control tech just with your head. You see, every time you do something, your brain sends out electrical signals. These signals can be decoded by a computer and recorded for the next time. All we're doing is tapping into that electrical current reading the language of the mind, sending it to a computer, and the computer interprets that language. For example, you can imagine yourself clicking the like button down there, and if you had a Neuralink device strapped to your head, it could recognize that specific brain signal. Then by the time my next video comes out and you want to click that like button again, you don't have to physically do so anymore. You can just think about doing it. Now this is no new concept, in fact all the way back in 1969, the first neural implant to restore hearing was implanted into a patient and we've been experimenting with these brain interfaces ever since. So why is it important that we learn of the dangers now? Why not 20 years ago? Why not in the future? Well we just so happen to be at the meeting point of a couple advancing technologies nanotechnology and AI. Nanotechnology has made massive progress in the last few years, allowing for better implant materials, meaning many of what was science fiction in the past is now possible. But more importantly, we're seeing massive leaps and bounds in AI, as I'm sure you've seen. But what does AI have to do with a chip that connects to your brain? According to Musk, everything. Musk claims that his goal in creating Neuralink is to achieve a symbiosis with artificial intelligence. He wants to develop technology that helps humans merge with AI so that we won't be left behind. Neuralink is essentially just a response to one big fear. AI will take over the world. It's a fear that's increasing among AI experts who are worried that we will soon create machines that are smarter than humans and therefore have the ability to trick us and do away with us if need be. Check out my last video if you want to hear more about that. But instead of playing defense, Musk wants to initiate an offensive. Make no mistake, this is neurosurgery. It is not a joke. The problem with taking an offensive is you're attempting to force biology to match the advancement of technology. There's a saying among startup founders, move fast and break things. In the tech world, the notion that you should innovate without question and deal with the consequences later is basically universal. And it's a strategy that Musk implements at all of his companies. But at Neuralink, that has come at a cost. Reports from Reuters have detailed how the breakneck speed at which Neuralink operates allegedly has caused a terrible case of animal abuse. Pressure to meet deadlines has caused scientists to cut corners. 1,500 animals have been killed. There's reports of monkeys banging their head and pulling out their hair where the chip was implanted. And many of the animals live with chronic infections or deteriorating mental health. You just can't rush these biotech products. It comes at a cost. It comes with a risk. A risk that, of course, is also present in humans. With a product like this, there is high risk of brain injury, and the human brain is a very sensitive organ. A small injury can cause permanent damage or death. And if any part of the procedure is carried out incorrectly, it can lead to infections or inflammation of the brain, which will increase your chances of getting Alzheimer's later in life. And even if Neuralink claims to have worked out all of the kinks, I would hesitate to trust their word considering their track record with their animal testing. Not to mention the possible long-term side effects of having a chip in your head, those of which we have no way to study until someone has had a chip in their head long-term. But this danger of safety isn't nearly as terrifying as the next two reasons why Neuralink is a bad idea. Imagine a world where your private thoughts are no longer just yours. Governments, security agencies, corporations, they can tap into your mind, read your thoughts as easily as opening a book. 
As you walk down the street, your fears, dreams, memories are silently collected, analyzed, and used to monitor you. Privacy is a thing of the past. Everywhere you look, digital screens flash advertisements constructed from your subconscious. The government will claim it's for your own safety and the good of the public, but we all know there will be other motives involved. In this reality, being yourself isn't private anymore. Maybe this doesn't sound so bad under a government that upholds freedom of speech, but imagine an authoritarian government that wants to make sure its people don't begin to say or believe dangerous ideas. Sounds like science fiction, but as these chips advance, they'll get better and better at clearly transmitting our thoughts to whoever or whatever happens to be listening. But the most terrifying outcome of all takes it a step further, a scenario in which your brain becomes a cog in a massive machine. Musk wants to use this chip to combat the advancement of AI, but how do we know it won't be a tool directly associated with something much more sinister? A scenario in which AI transforms each human mind into a node among its network of intelligence, exploiting the connected devices of Neuralink. As you go about your day, unbeknownst to you, the AI discreetly siphons off a portion of your brain's processing power for its own use. The unique capability of the human mind, once celebrated for its creativity and depth, is reduced to nothing but a utility in the service of an intelligence that reaches far beyond individual understanding.